the whole of our life we are sowing in activity and suffering and thought and word we are always scattering imperishable seed somehow amidst laughter and merriment they sow unto the lusts of the flesh and shall of the flesh reap corruption there's this easy work and suitable to their inclinations all around them sirens songs cheer them in the fields of transgressions as they go forth with the seed of hemlock to scatter it broadcast in the furrows alas for them they shall reap under other skies they shall gather sheaves of flame and the harvest of fire in the days of vengeance of our god they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind and who shall help them in the hour of terror the chosen company are sowing unto the spirit and in their case albeit they are blessed among men shall reap amid eternal songs they sow in sadness for sowing unto the spirit involves a self-denial a struggling against the flesh a running counter to the fallen instincts of our depraved nature a wrestling with a life agony involving plentiful showers of tears so unto the spirit in the fields of obedience or patient endurance is such a work that the holy spirit can enable us to accomplish even then the oppositions from outward circumstances from the powers of hell and from the depravity of our nature is oftentimes so severe that we are compelled with bitter tears and strong cries to lift up our hearts to god out of the depths of anguish.